Hi, this is Mark Saltoff for the Buck Cardinal Club, and we're here with Matt Gentry, the first inductee into the 2015 Stanford Athletics Hall of Fame. Welcome to you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. And, um, you know, obviously in 2004, you had an incredible season with Stanford. Mm -hmm. You went 42-0 and and became the first NCAA champion from Stanford. Uh, you did a lot of things after that, but, but talk about that 2004 season. You know, that, that was just... Um just the season, it all came together. You know, throughout the year, I was healthy. I had the right mindset, which is so huge in the sport of wrestling. It's so physically demanding. And I was just uh, in a good position, um, you know, mentally and physically to perform really well. I was, you know, blessed to have great coaches and great workout partners to, to get me there. And uh, you, fo you follow that up. Uh, you helped coach the team for five years. And in 2008, you qualified for the Olympics, became the first Stanford wrestler to do that. You finished fifth. Uh, I mean, you've done a lot of things in this program that nobody has. Uh, do you feel a bit like a trailblazer? Uh, yeah. I, can I correct you there? Sure. Though? Uh, so actually, in 2008, I did not place. And then in 2012 was when I placed fifth. Gotcha. So, uh, you, you know, I, w I was a trailblazer. Um, I do think, though, that, um, and I realized this talking, you know, I had to do a lot of thinking about what this award means. And I do believe that just being surrounded by so much excellence in the athletic department, but even outside of the athletic department, other programs, other components of, of the university just made me believe that it was possible to be an NCAA champion, even though it hadn't necessarily happened in wrestling. So I believe that that kind of mindset uh, was really important for me succeeding because I remember when I won, everybody made a big deal about me winning. And mm -hmm. in my own head at the time, I was a little naive mm -hmm. because I thought, you know, it wasn't as, as big a deal. Looking back, I realized that it was uh, quite the accomplishment. So. Now, I mean, you, you did it both on the mat and in the classroom, a three-time academic All-American, a three-time team captain, uh, second, I think, all-time in career wins, I think, with 138. Mm -hmm. uh, so you excelled, uh, you know, in and out of, uh, out of the wrestling room. Talk about why academics were so important to you. Uh, well, really, that came down to my choice, you know, for choosing Stanford even. Um, I would say I was an okay athlete in, in high school. I wasn't heavily recruited. I was recruited a little bit, but I wanted to stay on the West Coast. I wanted to go to a good academic institution. I wanted to wrestle Division One, And that really narrowed down to just one school. So Stanford was an easy choice. Um, it was harder at the time, but looking back, it, it was a pretty easy choice to choose here. And just um, so when I came in, I knew that academics were a priority and you know student athlete student is first and our coaches always stress that and you know just made it a point to to ask and you know follow up to make sure that we were taking care of business in in the classroom so you know we could be free to take care of business on the mat when you think back to your stanford experience uh i'm sure a lot of things stand out anything in particular was there something that you reflect on these days when you when you think about stanford I mean, it's kind of hard to top the NCAA, you know, finals and winning that match was, was pretty, you know, that stands out for sure. But, you know, if I was going to pick something like generic, I would just say that, you know, just the, the trips with the team and those friendships and, you know, being, uh, being with the team and their coaches and, you know, having a good time while we uh, competed. Now, obviously, uh, there's a new wrestling room that you probably got a chance to see during yeah. this trip, a little different than where you practiced. and. Uh, Jason Braley has the program really on the upswing. It must make you proud as, a, as an alum and former wrestler. Yeah, so it's funny. I actually have a little bit of a black eye. I was able to work out with the team yesterday <laughs> um, and see the new room, which is just phenomenal. And I think it's hopefully going to help with some recruiting, which is, you know, always important. So, um, yeah, I'm very proud to see what they're doing. I believe in the coaching staff and their, their you know, philosophies. So I think that, you know, with time that we should see even more of an improvement. So... Tell us what you're doing these days. Uh, so actually, after I left Stanford, I was coach here for five years. Then um, 2010 was kind of a time where I needed to, to commit to coaching or commit to my athletic career. So with 2012 around the corner, I had a great training opportunity in my wife's hometown, just south of Chicago. So, uh, and she had a great work opportunity as well. So we moved back there to be close to her family. Um, and we started a family. So we have two little boys, a 17-month-old Lucas and a one-month-old Brian. Um, that made the trip, so it's pretty neat to have them here and see campus. And uh, I'm in physical therapy school now, so after the 2012 Olympics, uh, retired from competition, and then am now pursuing physical therapy. 
And lastly, um, obviously you couldn't have done some of the things you did here at Stanford without the help of the Buck Cardinal Club. Um, they've been supportive of all 36 sports and helped you with everything from training and travel to uh, equipment, you name it. Uh, anything you'd like to say to all the, the donors who've kind of helped you along the way? I'm just very thankful for the opportunities, you know, that Stanford has given me and it wouldn't have been possible without the Buck Cardinal Club. So, um, you know, I, I owe a lot, of, a lot of my success to that generosity and just making those, uh, those things happen. So um, I'd also like to thank my parents, you know, just such an integral part of, you know, um, even my financial, uh, he, financial situation here. So they um, just, their, the ethics that they instilled in me really allowed me to be successful here, I think. Well, congratulations on all you achieved, and uh, have a great night tonight. Okay, thank you for having me. I look forward to it.